Hello everyone, welcome to Admitad Academy. That's me again, Yekaterina Vasina, Content Marketing Manager at the Academy. And today I'm going to show you how to work with your dashboard, which tabs you can find here and what to do with it. So let's start. Now we are on the main page of Admitad, admitad.com. Now we need to log in. We should type in our login, then the password. Okay, here we are. Now we can see our dashboard. Dashboard is that place in the Admitad system where you can perform all the necessary actions. For example, here you can create an affiliate link or withdraw money when you earn them. Let's start the overview of the dashboard. First of all, at the top of the page, you can see the ad space which you are using right now. If you want to change the ad space, you can do it also here. You need to press on the arrow and choose another ad space. Let's go back. Uh, then you can here also add a new ad space. You need to press here and here you need to type in all the information about the new ad space. But we have explained it in the previous video, so we're not doing we're not going to do it right now. Okay, let's go back. Then here you can also see your login and the trust level in the admitted system. Let's go down. Below you can see the banner with all necessary information. Here you usually can see some invitations to the events or for example new tool or information, just regular one. Then below the banner you can see the 30 day report on earnings, impressions, clicks and actions. If you don't want to see all the parameters, you can choose just one. For example, we have chosen only earnings, but we don't have any statistics here because it's just a test account. You will see here the actions, the earnings and so on. Below the report, you can see the latest news. Here you usually see by default all the latest news, but if you want to change it, you need to press on notification settings. And here you can see quick filters, notifications, types and exceptions. Here you can choose all the notifications which you want to see. For example, if you want to see all notifications, put the tick here. If you don't want, don't do that. Then you can choose the information, information about new programs. But if you want to see only the information about only joint programs, leave the tick only here. Then you can choose the notification types. Let's do it. And here you can choose all the notifications which you want to receive. For example, you want to receive the notifications about commission change or new banners and links and so on. If you want to see only some exact type of information, you can choose just something. For example, bonus payment. Then the last step here is exceptions, which type of offers you want to see. Uh, for example, you're interested only in travel and tourism, and so you can choose only it. And then you need to press on save changes. Here now you can see all the information which uh, matches all the parameters you have chosen. Okay, let's move on. Uh, also on the on the right, in the bottom corner, you can see the pop-up window. It's kind of red and orange color. And here you will see it only if you have some issues with your account. For example, we have an unvalidated ad space. If you want to resolve the issue, you can press here. And now we are on the page where we can solve this issue. But we are not going to do it right now. If you don't want to see this uh, pop-up window, you can simply press on cross. But keep in mind that this pop-up window will keep appearing until you resolve the issue. Okay, let's move on. On the right, you can also see the balance details. Here you will see the earnings you have earned today, then the confirmed earnings and uh, also earnings on hold. The confirmed earnings you will be able to withdraw. Here you can also see programs promotions. The admitted system finds uh, the programs which potentially match your ad space. Below you can see the news. Here you will see all the news about the company. You can press on all news 
and you will be redirected to Admutata official blog. Here you can read the detailed information about all news. Let's go back. And below you can see the Admutata referral program. You can press on referral link and you can copy this link and share it with your friends and beloved ones, for example. If someone uh, joins Admutata as a publisher and starts earning, if they withdraw some money from the system, you will receive some percentage of that amount. Okay, let's move on. We are done here. The next step is tools. We will record an additional video about all tools. So now we're not going to talk about all of them. Let's just review one as an example and let it be deep link. Uh, here you need to choose ad space which you will use and where you will place this deep link. For example, it will be this one. Then you need to choose the program from where you want the deep link. And you can also add the SubID tracking. For example, it can be a dress or a shirt. Okay, then you go on the website of the advertiser, you open the page and you copy the link with which you will work. Then you paste this link here and you need on generate. Now you can see the deep link which you can use and uh, place it on your ad space which you have indicated here. Okay, let's move on. The next step is programs. First of all, let's review my programs. Here you can see all the programs which you have joined with this ad space. If you change here the ad space, you will see different programs. And below the programs which you have joined, you can see all the programs in the Admitad system according to the rating. If you want to find some program in the whole catalog of programs, you need to press on all programs. And here you can see all the programs in the Admitad system. If you want to find some exact program, you need to start uh, insert the name here. For example, we want to find Booking.com. And here we are, we can press on it and choose it. If you want to find uh, the program which match some exact parameters, you can also choose filters here. For example, you want to find the program which allows to work with United States region. Then you can choose exclusive programs, programs with individual terms and programs with auto accept. This uh, filter will be interested for the newcomers and for new publishers because it will be easier to start working with some programs. Then you can also choose not joint programs. The next filter is advertiser category. For example, you want to work with online shops or with financial offers. Uh, let's choose online shops, just an example. Then you can choose the traffic source which you want to work with. For example, if I am a YouTube blogger, I want to find the programs which allow such traffic. Okay, let's choose YouTube channel. And the last filter, you can choose the tools which advertiser provides. For example, it can be deep link, lost orders uh, and so on. Let's choose coupon and deals, just an example. And here on the right, you can see all the programs which match the parameters you have just chosen. If you want to save this selection of programs, you can press on save, make up some name, for example, online shops and YouTube. Press on save and you will be able to use this filter as often as you want. Okay, let's move on. The next session is new programs. Here you can monitor which programs have been launched. And the last one here is suggest a program. This section will be useful if publishers have some advertiser with who they want to work, but uh, this advertiser isn't listed in the catalog of programs. Here you can paste the website of the advertiser and also you need to choose here the ad space, which you will use to drive traffic to the advertiser. Then you need to press on suggest, but we are not going to do it right now. Okay, let's move on. The next step is product feeds. This step will be useful for the publishers who own a website, for example, an affiliate showcase or the price comparison services. If you don't have export templates, you, can, you need to choose original. 
Here you need to choose the ad space where you will upload the products later. Then you need to choose the program from where you will export the product. Then you need to choose the feed. As I said, we don't have any export templates. Uh, the next one, you need to choose the currency. Make sure that you choose the currency which will be shown on your website later. Then you need to choose the feed format. And the next thing is the discount products only. You can tick here if you want to download only the products on discounts. Let's do it. Let's just choose it. And the next one is date and time of the last export. This section will be useful if you have exported uh, products not long ago and you want to export now only the new ones. For example, uh, just an example, we have exported goods on the 1st February. Let's choose it and now you can press generate and you will see here the link with the feed. You need to paste it in the new tab, press on enter and it will start automatically downloading. Okay, let's go back and uh, the next step here is reports. It's a very useful section because here you can see the reports on all actions, on the ad spaces and on the programs. For example, the reports on ad spaces. Here you can compare how each your ad space works. For example, we can choose several ad spaces. Uh, then we can choose the date range. For example, we want to see the statistics of several months, for several months press on apply and then you can choose one or two programs. For example, we want to choose one. Okay, then we press on show and here you can see all the information. The next uh, section here is the reports on programs. Here you can compare how different programs work. The next is on actions. Here we, you will see the statistics on all actions. The next one is on time. Here you can choose any period of time, even one day. The next uh, is on SEM. This section will be useful if you work with contextual ads. And here you will be able to monitor how the ads in different contextual networks work. The next one is uh, reports on sub-ID. Here you can check how uh, links with different sub-IDs work. And the next one is CPC. This uh, section will be useful if you work with offers which uh, pay for their clicks. And the last one is export. It will be useful if you want to export some statistics. For example, let's go back on ad spaces, the reports on ad spaces. Here we need to choose again which statistics we want to export. For example, uh, the statistics for February and March. Then we choose ad spaces. For example, we want to see the statistics on one ad space and you can choose the programs. Click on apply and then show, click on show. We don't have any statistics yet. Okay, let's change it. Uh, let it be from January till March. The ad spaces and the programs, click on show. And now we can export these statistics press on export and here you need to, to choose the columns which you want to see in the export. Uh, for example, we want to see ad space, clicks, sales and uh, approved commissions. Press on export and now you can see that our export and statistics are ready. We can press here and uh, we will download it. And the last uh, tab here is uh, payments. It will be useful if you want to track the status of your application for withdrawing money. We don't have any information here, but we will show you an example. That's what you will see in the payment history. The first one is ID. It's the ID of the application, then it's the date, it's the day when the application was created. The next one is status, the status of the application. For example, it can be on hold, the application is being processed, money has been transferred to your account, then it's uh, declined, the application has been declined and in the comments you will see the reason for that. And the next one is draft. It uh, will be shown if you have created some application but you haven't approved it.
Then you will be able to see the original amount. It's the amount which you have asked to withdraw. Then you will see the transferred uh, amount. It will be the money which you have received. The next one is payment method. Uh, here you will see where you will receive the money. It can be web money, bank card, PayPal, and so on. And then you will be able to see the invoice, account statement, and the comments. If uh, your if your application has been processed, uh, here you will see the approximate date then the money will be withdrawn. That's all for now. Don't forget that there are some uh, tabs where you can find help. Uh, for example, it's help. And when you press on that button, you can see the Help Center for Publishers. Here you can find any information which you want. For example, you can find general information. You press on the arrow and here you can see all the information. But if you haven't found the answer to your question, you can always contact our support team. You need to add new ticket here. You need to ask the question and our support team will answer you and will help you. Thank you for watching our video you can leave the comments under the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel we will create many more videos thank you and we wish you a productive day bye bye